Hello everyone and welcome to the latest 3D printer vlog. This will be vlog 30. I had to redo this here because I deleted the first segment, but I just want to show you all a bit of an update of what the uh, shop or the lab looks like, whatever the heck you want to call it. Got the toolbox back from the office today, and I've been lining that up with all my tools just to get everything properly organized. Uh, Destocking this bag just because it's a bit of a pain to use day to day. And of course I have my uh, drill press and sander here, kind of out of place. Um, gonna have to eventually, once it gets warm, I'm gonna take this uh, Reflectix off, although I'm probably gonna be moving in about like a month or two, so don't know if I'm gonna be using those. I'm probably just gonna keep those for storage. Got this set up here where I can like uh, do photography of like products and things, and of course I have the uh, giant build and of course all the work stuff, and every this is just a big old chaotic mess over here with my computer desk. Here's the next modification I'm going to be doing to the printer. I have these aluminum brackets 2020. I'll actually put a link in the description. I'm selling these on eBay right now. But, oh, there we go. Printer beeps, so. So right now, I have to reload the filament for this printer here. Fortunately, with this flash forge, it's pretty easy. You just spin it up. Of course, I just have it tubed in here. Like I said, I'm going to be using these corner brackets. Going to replace them with these plastic brackets that I have here. Should strengthen the uh, frame up and give it a bit more rigidity. So I'm going to go ahead and swap these over. Alright folks, so I'm going to have to go ahead and take a break for tonight here. Apparently these screw heads are too tall, as well as the screws are a little too long. So I ordered 8mm flathead M5 screws, or actually they're ball heads, sorry. And let's to replace these guys here, because I have to like shim these with the washers and they can... It's a real pain to, in order to fit two of them, a lot of finagling going on along with uh, trying to get the square nuts lined up properly, especially trying to fight gravity with those things. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave these, technically it's three and a half because this one only has one screw in it, but it's pretty, it, I can immediately tell a difference even though it's kind of uh, kind of weird with this washer having to be put in between these two because I can't put two washers in here because it's too tight. But, yep, I'll get it taken care of here. Just kind of wait for that screw shipment to come in. Um, of course, the next thing I'll need to do is I'll need to uh, put a steel bar across here. And, of course, I'll have to wait for more screws here as well to do that. And I want to go ahead and cut a longer bar, too, because what I'll be doing in order to make sure these things don't sway as much is I'll have another bracket like so. I can't put them in here. It will not fit. So I'll put them on each side, have two screws on each side here, because I don't the brackets aren't really tall enough or the steel isn't. I didn't want to get the heavy of a steel on here just so it doesn't weigh it down because this is just solid, pretty thick gauge steel. But it'll definitely help in reinforcing this because this side uh, I believe it goes lower and this side goes or this side goes down and this side goes up once I tighten the bed and uh, try to line it up. So it's really and of course as the bed moves up and down it just knocks it out of alignment even more. So just, uh, yep, that'll be my next little project here. Of course, I'll get that taken care of. And, uh, I'll get back to you all when we get the screws for these. And, uh, we get the new piece of steel cut. And we got it measured up in the, uh, screws, uh, the holes drilled correctly. Alrighty, folks. Back in action here. As you can see, I have the bar basically marked and punched, or the holes punched, ready to go to be drilled. Um, I actually had to recut this here because this... The previous one is a little too short. I have to basically put the angle brackets on the uh, the outside of the uh, actual frame itself. And I've also received, I got my M5 eight millimeter short head screws. So there we go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those with the angle brackets. Should work a treat. So a good bit of, and uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. Got my lubricant here, my drill press, my fancy drill bits. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling these holes.
right, everybody, so we got the bracket taken care of here. As you can see, I have the little uh, aluminum angle brackets pointing down like so. So those are ready and good to go. And of course, I have been adjusting the settings, like the steps for a millimeter on the extruder, along with the tension of this little bolt here, a little thumb screw. And I have been making some progress. Now, the final setting I needed to make in order to make the actual surface look a little better, let me see if I can put these side to side and compare. Um, don't know if you can tell, but at the top one, there's a lot of roughness going on. However, the bottom one looks a little better. Um, there might be need to be some more adjustment with the extrusion rate, but essentially it is pretty much finished up here. It's a little bit rough on the surface here compared to like what my flash forward would output, but I'd probably just need to uh, do a few more tweaks with the actual printer itself. What I did was in flash forge, there's like basically an extruder multiplier I needed to adjust. So I went ahead and lowered that down to about 0.9 instead of, uh, usually set at one, just of course like a, it's kind of like the ratio of how much filament goes through and adjust multiple settings. And I don't know what that would be, in, what settings that would be in Slicer, but I'm just doing a Simplify 3D because I prefer that slicing software. Now of course you notice the aluminum angle brackets are installed on all corners of the printer where the original plastic ones would be. There's one, there's of course one, another one. Now. I am selling these on uh, eBay. They're about 10 bucks shipped anywhere in the US. But that's gonna be about it for this here update, folks. Do wanna thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing down below. And check out some other videos here too that are, should be popping up here soon. And have a great day.